What is up my dudes and welcome back to another episode of JTTV. Welcome back over here to JTTV. We're here just to watch the power pole. That's cool. If you like fishing, if you like John boat stuff, if you like uh, fishing kayak stuff, bank fishing, bass fishing, um, really just a whole bunch of whatever, subscribe to this channel. Go check out other videos. Go check it out. We do it. Yeah. But um, if you don't want to subscribe or whatever, that's cool. I appreciate your view anyways. I'm going to give a full step-by-step -step on how I'm going to build a DIY manual shallow water anchor slash power pole for this giant boat right here. And if you want to check out how the rest of this came to where it is, go check out the videos. I got a review. I didn't really do a lot of step-by-step, -step. but today we are doing a step-by-step -step power pole DIY. And also go bucks. Got my Brady shirt on. Go Bucks, just had to put that out there. Let's show you guys all the materials that we're about to use today for this power pole, and then we're gonna get into it. All right, first we're gonna start off with something you might need to build yourself a DIY power pole shallow anchor. It's probably a boat and or a kayak, and I know she's a little dirty right now, kind of looks not the best. Um, gotta clean her off uh, since the last time I took her out. So we'll work on that don't don't judge me off that first look but let's go to our materials what we need for our shallow shallow water anchor here we got our fiberglass rod this is about uh it's a 93 inch rod um three quarters thick three quarter inches and um so it's about seven and three quarter inches long um i got this rod off of not i don't remember exactly what website i'll probably link it down below if i can remember it and find it um, but i got it for about 44 bucks all this stuff in total cost around 80 bucks so this whole power pole thing is going to cost around there at least my build is um start over here we got some spray paint just to spray paint this thing black that way it's not sticking out like a sore thumb on the boat we got ourselves a little handle for our rod that we're going to have to make fit a little bit better but we're going to end up probably gluing that jb welding it or something to the rod we got ourselves a little metal spike tip um, to help with the rod dig into the mud the dirt the ground of the body of water that we're on we're going to be jb welding that to the fiberglass rod and then we got ourselves a junction box here that this is actually going to is what's going to be anchored to the boat for our pole and we are going to then mount this little bell box here on the side of this junction box um, ourselves obviously a little blank plate blank plate for our bell box there we got some nuts and bolts to uh, help fasten the box to the junction box and then obviously we got our jb weld and the most important part we got a nice cool bud light that's what we're going to be using today to build this thing my reasoning for building this power pole is because i need a shallow water anchor on this boat um and i want to i don't know do something cool build something cool and uh real power poles are way too expensive so 80 dollars diy budget power pole that's what we're about to get doing. We're gonna take you step by step um, and we're gonna do this thing together, okay? All right, so we're gonna start off with our pole first. I'm gonna have you guys at an angle here, try to see everything that's going on with my hands. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little metal tip here and we're gonna JB weld it to this fiberglass rod. Take your JB weld here. It says to do about equal parts out of each. I'm not too sure how much we need, so I'm just gonna do about that much. Try not to get this stuff everywhere. We've got to mix it up. I just got a little piece of cardboard. Hopefully it works good. Didn't really have nothing else. Your finger. And then we're gonna apply to the end of our tube and then I'm gonna try to get some inside the actual. Slide that puppy on there. That should get in it. And that's that. That's the tip. It says it takes about four to six hours to set. So I'm sure within the hour it should be pretty solid on there. Okay. And you're going to take it four to six to an hour? We're going to skip the handle for now. We don't got any tape. I need to. The reason being is it's a little bit too big here, a little loose. So. We need some tape. Um, we got some tape coming our way.
took this little screw here um, don't have a drill bit to kind of you know drill these holes out so i just kind of use this as my bit basically picked out four spots inside the bell box boom 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 and then uh did my best hopefully they match up did my best to match them up on the junction box and did the same thing just boom 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 and then drove my bolts here let me show you guys what these are number 10s um three inches probably a little long but i just got them long just in case and um obviously with it, it was the nut and bolt that came with it and um and uh here's just one of them's uh through you know through our holes here that we drilled out and then i'm gonna put the put the nut on just to make sure it's nice and tight but things should work out okay and uh, hopefully these other holes line up but very simple i mean it would be a lot easier if i had an actual you know some kind of bit to get through there but just use a screw so that is what we are going for like i said we pre-drilled our holes with a random screw that i found in my tool bag here <laughs> and just uh you know kind of just really just eyeballed it honestly it wasn't a perfect measurement because it doesn't have to be but um seems pretty straight seems pretty even to me and then we just got our nuts and bolts there on the other side probably gonna cut those down i don't have my full tools i should have had should have brought my full tools with me um, from work but i didn't um it's off some pliers cut these bolts down so they're not so bulky but they're gonna be covered anyway so not a big deal pretty much done um we obviously we're still waiting on the tape for our handle on our pole but um we're gonna put our plates our blank plate on top here top of the junction box back on and um and then we're gonna attach it to the boat with these self tappers here and uh, make sure that those are tight and then we'll probably give it a little spray paint and then once we get this uh the rod finished the handle she'll be good to go so let's do that here's just gonna go just like this and uh, as you can see outside of the boat where the pole can come down and out and that's how it's going to get anchored on here. She is drilled on the boat. Pretty sturdy on there with these self-tappers. Before I drilled, I realized that if I was going to drive through this part with a two-inch screw, it was going to poke right out here. So luckily I had um, a three-quarter inch one on in my bag self-tapper so i'm gonna pull it out of the garage a little bit we're gonna spray paint this thing um all right we got our tape here and we are going to just kind of beef up this end of the pole let this fit a little better we'll That's it, right there. That is the power pole. We're gonna get out on the water and test it out. So that'll be a part of this video. But that's the finished product. Back out on, and, and we're back on the, and we're out on the John boat. Just got done building this power pole, obviously, the other day. And uh, now we're going to do the water test portion of this video. Gonna... Right, so we're in our spot that we want to be. It's probably about, it's pretty shallow actually right here. Maybe three feet of water under all this. And we're just gonna send our pole down and jam it in. There it goes. Get it nice in there. It's 
pole does have some play to it. A little bit of bend, but I think that's okay. And then we'll be, really, we'll just be turning around this pole. We'll be pretty solid, we'll be set. Power pole's done, power pole's complete. Today we're out on the boat fishing, so hopefully we we'll catch some fish for you guys and stay tuned for that one. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Whoa! Let's go! We got one! Sweet McGee! First one on the boat! Woo, baby! Let's go! Appreciate you, first one on the boat. We'll even give this guy a little smoke. Peace out, man. Yes! And that's going to be it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for the power pole build. You guys just saw the build. Take it out on water and test it. Um, hopefully, you guys were able to follow along good in this video and uh, kind of understand what I'm doing. Again, description down below will cover everything that I just did here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys go check out the rest of my channel if you're just over here to watch this video. Um, subscribe to the channel, like my videos if you like them, and, and if you want to subscribe and everything like that. So a lot more stuff coming. We're going to take this thing fishing, um, kayak fishing and all that good stuff, kayak modifications, some more mods to the John boat, and uh, that's pretty much it. So appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. Um, as always, peace out, my dudes.